The Lord has led our family to Pasadena, California to plant a church. And he's made that abundantly clear in our hearts. I believe that many people are afraid of the LA Metro. Many times we expect our missionaries to travel over to a foreign country and adapt to that culture. But yet we as Americans are guilty of not adapting to the inner city ministries that lie within our own borders of America. LA Metro is not your white suburb community. Um, it's very diverse, culture shock for me when I first got out here. You are gonna have a congregation where if you're a white man, you're probably gonna be the minority as the pastor in that congregation. Our congregation has 26 plus nationalities. Um, it's not a city where you can just come into and buy a house. You may pastor in the LA Metro your entire life and never buy a house. And I believe that is why so little churches have been started um, in this growing city, growing metro, uh, a city that influences the world. Trends are set out here in Southern California. It's gonna be a unique ministry, but if God's called you, um, I, I believe obviously the need is there. On my first survey trip, I, I knew nothing about California. I looked at maps and, and studied a little bit online of what I could learn there, but, uh, but looking at a paper or looking at a screen is not the same as, re as real life. So I looked at, at my map and I saw that Pasadena was fairly close to where I was staying. And I, I, I took the, the rest of that day and I, I, went, to, I went to Pasadena. And, uh, and just walked through the city and several of the streets and, and interacted with some of the people there. And, and uh, I thought about the fact that this was a city of nearly 150,000 people and um, almost no gospel witness. I was at a youth meeting and um, evangelist Brian Sams was preaching. He told how there were a large number of cities in California, actually all of the, several of the states out in the West that um, have over 100,000 people, um, but not, um, not very many gospel preaching churches. In fact, several of them do not have one. Of course, my heart was burdened for those cities, and I began to pray that the Lord would send someone to plant a church there. And, and I prayed specifically for uh, the Lord to send some of the teenagers from the youth meeting uh, to plant a church there. Um, but it was as if the Lord said, um, why wait for them to go through, uh, finish high school, go through college? Um, and I, I said, Lord, well, who would you, who, who could you send in you know, more uh, near uh, near future, and uh, it was as if the Lord said, "Why not you?" And uh, so I um, I told him I would, of course, do whatever he wanted me to do. And I prayed uh, with my wife about it, and and uh, the Lord gave us peace that this is what He wants for us, for our family. I was burdened for Pasadena, uh, but I didn't want to just accept the first city as being it, you know. And so I, uh, the next day, I visited with uh, with Pastor Nick Reed of uh, Victory Baptist Church in Burbank, and he named several cities that have a great need, and uh, Pasadena being one, the Thousand Oaks, and Santa Clarita, Santa Monica, Santa Barbara, and. Uh, Fullerton, Huntington Beach, and several of these cities. And so I spent the next few days driving from city to city and seeing with my eyes the, the need for a church. He and his wife, uh, two of the best uh, people, persons that I know, uh, they're just, uh, they're, not, they're not passive in their membership. They're very active in their membership, you know, with the membership of the church. Um, and that love shows and the people know that and I just know that whatever he does and wherever he goes it'll be the same way 
and they've reached a lot of people here, won a lot of people to the Lord. A lot of people have come that have gotten saved and then grown in the Lord. So I've seen the Lord use them in a great way in the lives of the people of this church. And I know it'll be the same way when you know, he gets to Pasadena. I was mostly drawn to Santa Clarita and Pasadena. So on my way back from Santa Barbara and uh, Thousand Oaks, I stopped in uh, in Santa Clarita and drove through the city once again and prayed and asked the Lord, you know, is this the city you want me to plant a church in? And, um, but it was, um, but I got, I had no peace that that's where the Lord wanted me. And I, I couldn't get any peace about those cities. And so uh, I drove, the next day, I drove to Pasadena and, uh, and there, as I drove through the city again, um, God confirmed in my heart that that's where He wanted me to be. When I arrived home from the survey trip, um, my wife and I sat down and, and talked and, uh, and she asked me, she said, uh, she said, so where are we going? And I told her, I said, I said, well, the Lord has, has laid Pasadena on my heart and has made it clear to me that that's where we should go. And, and she said, that's what I thought. She said, after talking to you the past few days, she said, I just, I knew that's where we were going. And uh, we knelt down and prayed and thanked the Lord for, for giving us both that peace and giving us that clarity of vision. It was my heart's desire to be able to, to view as much of the city as I could from one vantage point and I uh, actually had that opportunity today. And as I looked out over the city and uh, the connecting cities, um, my heart broke um, and uh, the verses of scripture came to my mind. Mine eye affected my heart and uh, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. Uh, and it was, um, I, I could relate to the scripture where it says Jesus Saw the, people, saw the multitudes and had compassion on them for they were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. And thinking of, of this, this um, city and the, the greater uh, metro LA area uh, having a population of over 13 million people and just a handful of, of gospel preaching, soul winning churches, um, uh, just very burdened. For, for the area and, and grateful that God would choose us. I know people, people are in need of the gospel anywhere you go, whether it's here in Georgia or in California, but I guess what really excites me about Pasadena is here, there are so many people that have a knowledge of the truth. Even if they don't have a clear understanding of the gospel, there's a lot of knowledge that they have just by growing up in the Bible Belt. But I'm excited to go to an area when you knock on their door, when you meet somebody and say, if you die today, do you know you'd go to heaven? It's gonna be, from my experience in Oregon, it's gonna be a much more straightforward answer, like. No, I have no clue, or maybe because I'm a good person. I'm just excited to be able to share with them the gospel and that there's hope in Jesus Christ. God is is uh, stirring up our nest. He, he's uprooting us from uh, from Covington, Georgia, and moving us to uh, to Pasadena, California. And I I could have never imagined God doing all of this through us. I, I, I guess this is just proof positive that God chooses the foolish things to confound the wise and uh, He knows what He's doing. And I'm, I'm excited to see the, the big picture one day. But until then, I'm, I'm looking forward to each puzzle piece that God places in my hand and tells me just exactly where to place it. 
I'm looking forward to how he's going to use us and what he's going to do as he completes his picture of us.